A few months back, my friend Howard and I were hiking on the north side of the mountain, and we came across a couple of caves that were just begging to be explored. Keeping in mind my theory that fat and blood plasma both can turn to quartz when petrified, take a look at this footage. So, we're on the north side of Moko, and uh, high up you can see the town down below there. And uh, entered in and climbed up into this area here, which goes back here. And you can see it's just this crystal layer that goes back into here. It's still there, that's all crystalline. And then this continues to, into another cave, which we're gonna go out in a moment. Goes back that way, I don't know how far, because we haven't been there yet. And then you can see this crystal layer. And it just continues, it's it's definitely like, like a fatty, you know, maybe art, arterial kind of a layer. Um, and uh, there, there you can see it as well. Well, no, no, not there. So let's just see where this goes. That goes back. And then it appears to maybe stop. I don't have any gear, so I'm not going to go spel spelunking. But wow, what, is, what a formation. So here we go, through here. It's beautiful. You can see the trees are growing to kind of cover, hide the entry to this other cave. And look at this. That, that crystalline layer followed all the way through this whole channel. That's all one long crystal that's connected to some other kind of stone which appears to be limestone so this is totally consistent with the uh the kinds of things that i that i discussed in the fourth and fifth unveiling a titan series Let's see these cracks that's the crystalline layer continuing and up there is a good friend and check this out wow it looks oh it's like it's just magical up here, it really is. <sighs> Looking up. Oh wow. What a beautiful day. It was raining a little bit earlier today, but it cleared up. Wow, that's a big one. There's a tree in there, look at this. Oh my gosh, growing right out of the side of the mountain, huh? There's loads of channels up here. Huh. It's like... Uh -huh. Channels going every which way. Every way. Down there. There's a tree growing out the side of the mountain. It's so beautiful, I've never seen that before. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's it's absolutely like, awesome. It's like seeing something at Angkor Wat. Yeah, it is, isn't it? And here, Not like, that I've ever been there, but. You've got loads of channels. It's such an amazing there. little tree. Look at this. Come See all the channels up there as well. What a crazy. I feel like I'm in Angkor Wat. It's absolutely <laughs> amazing. I live here. And it's epic. It really feels safe here. It's got a great energy. This would be an awesome spot to camp. You've got all the floor flattened. Built a little bit of wall. <laughs> oh, wow. How about that, huh? Huh? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so here we're looking back into another section of the of the eye socket, and it, going down. You know, if if these were channels that were formed by by water flow, for example, you would expect things to be smooth, but instead it's the opposite. You see these structures that appear to be something that that's grown. And if you get down in here, you can see that there's really a, a tissue-like quality to it. So I, my theory is that, you know, this would be artery vein passageway 